Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mostly From Scratch. I am your host Mr. Munchies and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick easy uh, beef stir fry. And let's go over our list of ingredients. Uh, we have about a pound and a half of, this is uh, New York strip and ribeye that's been cut very thin and to, to make it um, tender you take a little bit of uh, baking soda about a tablespoon and mix it up in there and then put it in the fridge to let it uh, set. It uh, tenderizes it very nicely. And <clears throat> for our sauce, we have about one tablespoon of oyster sauce. We have one tablespoon of Shaoxin wine, which is a Japanese cooking wine, Asian cooking wine. We have one tablespoon of soy sauce and about a tablespoon of cornstarch. We have two cloves of garlic that has been minced very fine and this is some pickled ginger. Um, I don't keep fresh ginger on hand because I just don't use it that much but that's been minced very fine as well. Uh, we have some blanched broccoli Some baby corns, bamboo shoots, and water chestnuts. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sear our beef. And your wok needs to be screaming hot, I mean to the point where we're going to test it. A drop of water should not have, shouldn't cook, it should dance around. And there we go. That's called the lathe and frost effect. Look it up. Okay, so uh, first thing we're going to do is sear our beef. Since we have quite a bit, we're only going to do about half of it at a time. We don't want to overload our wok, take too much heat out of it. Look at that. When it's smoking, you know something's happening. I'm going to have to open up the house. Oh, I wish you could smell it. Beef sear and it's like, oh. It should only take about a minute. But you want to make sure you get everything nice and brown. And if you have a gas stove, it's even better. A walk works even better on a gas stove. Electric one, just turn it all the way to high. Get your wok nice and hot before you start. I'll show you this real quick. See how brown this is getting? And the house is filling up with smoke. I'm going to have to open the doors and windows. That's our first half. Put this in a bowl. Alright, get our other half in there. And while this is searing, I am going to open up the house. So keep an eye on this for me. Okay, um, I paused a little bit so I could get all this meat done because there was a lot there. But this is what it looks like when it's all nice and seared and everything. So now we're going to assemble our sauce. 
So we're going to take our oyster sauce, we're going to add our Shaoxian wine, our soy sauce, and I'm going to put about a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of sesame oil in there. Give that a quick stir. And we're going to add our cornstarch. It's going to be a thickener. That's, that'll make it nice and thick when it starts to cook. Alright, see what that looks like? I just want to make sure we get our cornstarch all nice and mixed in there. Okay, that's done. Now, in our wok, we gotta let char from the, the beef in there, so we wanna deglaze our pan first. So we're gonna take a little bit of oil, sesame oil, just a little bit, and just a little bit of the Shaoxian wine. Give that a quick run around in there. Now we're going to add our garlic and ginger. Whew. This goes pretty quick. You don't want your ginger and garlic to brown. So now we're going to add our sauce. Give that a quick stir. Ooh, see how thick that got already? Now, I back the heat off and I'm at about a medium heat. Okay, so now we're going to add our bamboo shoots, which have been drained. Our water chestnuts, which have been drained as well. And we're going to give those a quick stir. and just give them a few seconds to open up and start releasing a little bit of that moisture that they have. And now we're going to add our baby corns, which have been drained as well. cooling off so I'm going to turn it back up to high, get some heat, heat back in this pan. Oh, it smells great, very Asian. Okay, now we're going to toss our beef in there. That is a lot of meat. And we got one trying to escape. Here we go. Get back in there. Looks good so far, right? I'm just going to let this cook for a minute, and then we're going to add our broccoli to it. The broccoli's already been blanched, so we don't want to cook that too much. Take a look at this beef. How tender this is. 
They just pulled apart. I think it's about a medium. You see a little bit of pink in there. That's perfect. Nice and tender. Bacon soda does a good job tenderizing your meat. Uh, try it on chicken if you use chicken. If you do a stir fry, does a great job. All right, we're hot again. All right, now we're going to add our broccoli. Stems too. Ooh, chips of stem. Don't forget to eat those. They're good. <coughs> Turn our heat off and just toss this around. And there you have it. Uh, of course you can add other stuff to it if you want to do some carrots and some snow peas, stuff like that. Give it, maybe give it a little more color. Um, just like always, like I say, my recipes are more like guidelines. Adjust it to however you want. Make it to your own taste. Add some sriracha to that, make it kind of hot. And that's it. It's done. We'll grab a plate. Throw a little bit on there. And I'm going to garnish it. With some sesame seeds. Alright, there we go. Take a look at that. Looks good, right? Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me grab a fork and I'm going to give it a taste. Perfect as always. Okay, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and share this recipe with everybody. If you uh, are watching it on Facebook, share it with everybody too. Um, all my YouTube viewers, don't forget to subscribe so you see more of my stuff coming up. Check out my whole channel for all my recipes. And that'll do it for now. So this has been another episode of Mostly From Scratch. I'm your host, Mr. Munchies. So everybody... Plate up and chow down.